Samurai. Welcome everybody to another Sizzle and Smoke episode. Rocking and rolling today. <laughs> it's the good old American dream. We're doing the hot dog. We're not doing any old hot dog. We've done hot dogs in the past. We've wrapped them up, put chili on them. We've done a couple different ones. This one, straight out of my kitchen. First off, you got to get yourself a quality hot dog. Harvest hot dogs is the only way to go. They are by far the best. Nobody competes with them. They're made here in Saskatchewan, in Yorkton. They're fantastic. We're going to take that hot dog. We're going to take our wiener. And we're going to wrap it in bacon. Then we're going to put it on the smoker. Cook it. We're going to have a little rub on it. And then we're going to put a bit of a barbecue sauce on it. And then when we're done, we're going to take it off and we're going to roll it in something. Then we're going to slap it into our bun. Our nice hoagie bun. Nice and big. Lots of room. We're going to put on our onions. Our mixture. And if you don't know the onions yet, go back and watch it. I don't know which video it was in. I think it was in the McRib. I'll even go through it here again and again. It's, just, it's one onion. I diced it up, threw it into a container with some vinegar, sugar, and sizzle and smoke seasoning. I leave that container in the fridge all the time. And all I do is keep adding to it. It is phenomenal. Especially in the summer when you're doing burgers, you're doing uh, sandwiches, you're doing hot dogs. No matter what you're cooking, these things are phenomenal. They go with it. So we're going to put those on there. We're doing a dog. Yeah, it's going to be good. Wait until we get to the rub, the, the rolling part when we add this in. This one. It's going to be fantastic. So to get these bad boys rolling, you take your harvest wiener. And I'm just going to diagonally make a little slice into it all the way around. Like that it's tough to see that that little cut but all it's gonna do is when it cooks it's gonna expand and help to get in the middle of the smoke nothing major so we're gonna do that to all of them just go at an angle and just roll the dog till you get to the end just like that boom so they all got their slits in them so now all we're gonna do is take our bacon get her tucked on there Wrap that bacon in amongst itself because you use that to hold itself. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, so we got our dogs all wrapped up in bacon. Now we're just going to take our rub and we're going to hammer these bad boys with the rub. Get them all over, move them around, get them coated. Dump some on the bottom of the pan and get them all working on it. The more rub the better, it doesn't hurt. All right, so our dogs are done. They're uh, rubbed up, all dialed in. We're gonna slap them onto the smoker at uh, 275 for you know, half an hour. Gotta get the bacon cooked, that's the big one. Uh, the hot dog cooked through, and away we go. So when we come back, well, our buns are here. We're gonna get our topping <laughs> figured out. It's gonna be good. So here we go. Let's get these on the smoker. Get them roll. <laughs> I was never good at that game. We're now gonna get the rest of our uh, hot dog topping ready. They're rolling on the smoker, two seventy-five. Here's what gets fun. Okay, I bloodied myself. Terrible. We're going to let those hot dogs cook. And then when they get to the end, we're going to put barbecue sauce on. Generic barbecue sauce. I, I, I do make my own. I don't have any today. So I'm just going to use whatever. I think I got some bullseye in the fridge. That's what I'm using. Nothing special. Good flavor. Use what you got. When they're done, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to roll them in something. What is that something you say? Zesty Mordant Chips. Absolutely. So we're going to take them off, we're going to put them into these bad boys, and we're going to roll them around, and then we're going to put them in the bun with some other toppings, and then you do what you want to do. So for these bad boys, Zesty Mordant, uh, Doritos, you've never had these before, uh, you can use whatever you want to for, for a chip. If you want to use dressed all over, go ahead. Jalapeno chips, you go ahead. 
uh, catch up, whatever you got. I like Zesty Mornant, uh, dressed all over works good too, so if you don't know where those references are from, get on your Canadian television. So we're just going to pop that open a little bit, just take your knife and break out those chips. Done. Love it. Like I said, get these hot dogs on up. Barbecue sauce, we're gonna roll them in these bad boys. It's <clears throat> gonna be good. Alrighty, let's check on our hot dogs, see how they're doing. Um, smokers rolling 275. I got cherry pellets in here. Biggest thing about a smoker, right? The more you lift the lid, the more the heat comes out and the smoke lets out, it takes longer. So we want to try and keep this bad boy close. So we're going to pop her quick. We got <coughs> the barbecue sauce rolling. I'm choking. I had a couple of zesty more than chips while I was waiting. Sorry, I'm dying on So let's get this bad boy some sauce on him, spread over, let him rock and roll. Oh yeah, they're looking good. Those slits we made in it, cut it around, it's starting to uh, spread open a bit. They're looking fantastic. So yeah, they're rolling along beautifully. So let's give them a little bit of juice. You don't want to put your sauce on too early because what it does is it burns. The sugars in the sauce will burn, and that's. Uh, not a good thing obviously right so put it on a little bit later all you want to do is get it hard just like that we'll leave her go for a few more minutes then we'll flip them over and we'll do the other side we do a couple more times, but we'll let them rock and roll. So they're looking good. Halfway maybe, a little bit more. So we're doing good. All right. Hot dogs are done. Look at those bad boys. Smoked up with the bacon and the rub on there. It says on smoke rub, the barbecue sauce. But we're not finished. Next step. Okay, zesty mordant. Drop that bad boy right in there. Get them sticking all over. That's what you need the barbecue sauce for, right? That's where you need those uh, chips to stick with the barbecue sauce. So there we go. We're going to pop that out. Stick it in our bun. A few chips on top. All oh, these whole you are fantastic. They're fantastic. All right, that's where we're at right now. Now we're taking these bad boys right here. Can you see that? It's my onion with my vinegar, sugar, and the sizzle and smoke seasoning. Right? I did one medium onion, about three quarter cup of uh, vinegar, a good third cup of sugar, a bunch of shakes of sizzle and smoke seasoning. You let her sit. Uh, like I say, this here is in my fridge all the time. I cut up a jalapeno into this one just for an extra little zip to her. We're just going to dump that on top. Boom. Now, a little bit of French's mustard. You can use whatever you want. English mustard, I don't care. She's, she's farty today. Boom. That there is my hot dog. Okay? She's beautiful. Beautiful, I tell you. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. I'm missing something. I both take a point of missing something. What am I missing? Oh. Rebellion Cerveza. 
That's what we're missing. Either that or I got the lentil too, but I'm going with cerveza for this one. Yep. That's what that hot dog is missing. Mm -hmm. That's dynamite. The next time you're having hot dogs, wrap them in bacon, step it up a bit, get some chips. Like I say, get your favorite chips dressed all over. I got zesty more than that. Do what you need to. That is a good hot dog. Harvest wieners too, always. Goes great with the Rebellion Cerveza. So. Or lentil, or whatever you want. Make it rebellion. I gotta go. I'm hungry. I'm eating. <laughs>